All righty, Kenya, Amelia, yeah. Hi, girls. Hello, how are you? Pretty good. This is going to be just girls class today. That is going to be awesome, right? If that happens, <laughs> that'll be good. Yeah. You look a little bit tired, Amelia. Yeah, right? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. In your eyes, I can see it. Like, uh, I just want to go to sleep, right? With your baby cat, with Mr. Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my cat was here a few seconds ago. Now she disappeared completely. <laughs> oh, but I'm glad that you could make it, even though you're a little bit tired. Yeah. When do you have your day off? Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Ah, weekends. Yeah, weekends uh. off, but I get a uh, day with. <laughs> so. Yeah, I the, know. Yeah. Of course, I understand that perfectly, especially because we need to take the bus, and then sometimes there's a like crowd inside it. Or I don't know what happened today, but I, today was, I don't know where you live, guys, or where you work, but today was raining, right? In the morning, around, let's see, around 7 a.m., right? For me, it was like, what? It was really weird because not supposed to. My pet slept the whole morning. Hey! You know what? I, I, I cannot say, say about girls' power anymore because Joshi has already arrived, but also William. William is already here, so there's no more girls' class anymore. Hey, William, how's a sweet bread going? Is a sweet bread what you're eating? Yeah. A sweet bread, right? What happened with the diet, my friend? No diet? No? No diet. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh, no, that is not a sweet bread. That, those are... French fries, right? Fries, yeah. French fries. That, yeah, I, I love them too. I don't know. Those are really yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, they're delicious. I, 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 you know what? I used to have a, a student in the, I think a couple of models before, or three models before, uh, that she loved French fries by hard. She said that she could uh, eat it. She could eat that like every day if it's possible. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> I remember not once in a while. Yeah, once in a while. Yeah. Like what? Like a uh, once per week? Once per week, yeah. Okay, it's because you go to the gym, right? No, really. No. I, no. I thought you're supposed to go to the gym. No, you you did not say that. No. No. Um, I do exercise, but ah. at home. Ah, at home, you have your own machine or your own weights? Mm-hmm. Ah, get it. Hey, you like in Caparina? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I remember that it was, it, it is kind of a toll, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's really delicious. It's delicious. Yeah, it's really delicious. <laughs> you, you, you are like my brother-in-law. He loves all those things. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but he's at least older than you. He's like, uh, let me check. He's like 38 years old. Oh, okay. Yeah, but he looks younger. And we have also, you know what, who we have here already? Also, Erwin. Oh, Erwin is here as well. Hey, good night, sir. It's been a pleasure. You look so fresh today. Uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. How are you? Have you very good. Have you taken a shower already? Yes, teacher. Right? I today see. Is, today yes. is a day. Today, in, in that moment, okay, in the morning, uh -huh. at that moment, because I, I become, I, I back, I back at my, my office, uh -huh. and today I work so hard. That's, uh, ah, I, yeah. Okay, so, so you took difficult. a shower before starting class to, yes. to like, yes. like, uh, turn on your power, your battery, right? I, I think I try, I try to take. A, <laughs> I try to, to, to have a, a power that moment. <laughs> uh, yes, exactly, to recharge your batteries. Yeah, because I don't have a, I don't, I don't, I don't have a coffee, a coffee that moment. I don't <gasps> make a, a coffee in how, a few how minutes. How come that's possible? Yeah. How come that's possible, Erwin? So, that's so a sacrilegious. Yes, it's right now. No way. But, <laughs> I would do. I would do the coffee. Yeah, yeah. If you want to go and do your coffee, that's okay for me. No problem. 
Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, of course. With okay. a cup of coffee and fresh, you're ready to rock and roll yes. today, right? Yeah, yes. that's the spirit. You know what? Mr. The, William was eating um, French fries. The world had a poet. Uh huh, exactly. No, the world is, the world had a poet, okay? Is it the world or the word? The words. The words? Ah, okay. Had I had never heard that before. <laughs> Yes. But that's a new one. Yes, the words have the power. Uh -huh. All right. Have, but, no, but the, have the power. Have, have the, the power. power. Okay. Yeah. No, but you, the, you if you if want they to. Have go, it in the past, okay. Uh -huh. okay. If you want to grab your cup of coffee, that's fine. Don't worry. Okay. okay. If that I, makes I you feel like yes. with more energy and awake, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because William is, is eating right now French fries. Can you imagine? French fries. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you see? Uh -huh. That's why he had turned on the camera because it's like he's chewing right now <laughs> hey we also Erwin you know what finally we have a er, Freddy's here Freddy what happened to you yesterday all of us missed you right Erwin we missed Freddy <laughs> yeah uh, if I said that I missed you it's because that's true I'm not inventing actually yesterday I had a little bit of headache Oh, and God. I was falling asleep. Really? And I, yeah, at 10 o'clock, I, I had to go um, to do, uh, actually to drive to to take my dad to, to his work. So I didn't want to have it in a car accident. So ah, instead, right. I had, instead oh. of that, I, I went to sleep like around two hours. Wow. So it was really pretty tough day for you, right? Just yeah. Right. Oh my God! But uh, do you, I think you got a headache because you were uh, too too tired, maybe, right? Yeah, because mm -hmm. I actually start working at four forty-five. I end up at seven o'clock. For real? Yeah, every day. Four forty-five a.m. Yep. Wow, that's a tough and pretty tight schedule, my friend. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, I can't imagine. And everything is physical work, right? Yeah, most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. So I do understand. Oh, don't worry. I well, I'm so glad that you make an extra effort to be into this class. That's amazing. When we're trying to learn something new, mm -hmm. everything is possible. Yeah, exactly. But I'm so I'm so happy that you make an extra effort and go to extra mile. I'm so happy. And to be honest with you, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Yeah, of course. You're going an extra mile, which is really good. Can I see your face? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, I haven't. Don't yet. worry <laughs> if you're a completely disaster. That's okay for us. <laughs> if you have very haven't shaved or if you haven't taken a shower, like Mr. Irwin, Irwin already took a shower, right? Well, and is eating French fries. And I think Thelma in about in about a month she's going to drink a cup of tea. I don't know. <laughs> no, but that's okay if you're laying on a, on a hamaca. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, I actually right now sitting down. She I just need to put a shirt. <laughs> ah, oops! No, no, please. Too, too much information <laughs> that we're not supposed to know, Freddy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't worry. No, 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 no. Don't share that information with us. <laughs> okay. So once you're ready, you can turn it on the camera. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, I want to see everybody's face while you have turned off your camera, except for Doris, of course. Welcome, Doris. Welcome to the dangle. Yeah, welcome to the class. <laughs> yeah, everybody has turned off the cameras. Uh-huh, William, don't worry if you're eating. That's okay. That's okay. I got it. Don't worry about that. Okay, Glendy, I have Amelia, Andres, Kevin. Very good. All righty. Joshi. Hi, Joshi. Hey. Hi, good evening. Good evening. You know what? In the good first evening. time we were, good evening, Glendy, that we were with Amelia and Kenny, and I told them it's going to be a girl night. But suddenly, Mr. William appears and I said, no way. <laughs> so no more anyway. girls night. Yes, exactly. Now, you know what? I have I had to learn from my previously class because most of the time, the girls were the first ones to join the class. And it was like, yeah, girl power and the girls night. And then suddenly, after I said girls night, and I finished the night, right? A man appears, and I was like, eh, no. So I better sip it, right? <laughs> Before something happens. You know what? Sip it? Ah, talking about that. 
that's a new expression that I would like to share with you. Hey, Freddy's, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, so sip it. You know what zip is? Z when you have the zipper and you close something, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you want to like uh, tell everybody or somebody else like, be quiet, right? Could you please be so kind to zip it around a little bit? Z yeah, you can do it. And it also you can use it in a work uh, environment relationship. Yeah, because most of the people uh, said, uh, use the expression, shut up, right? But that is kind of rude. That is kind of rude. You can use just use it, for example, with your friends, with your really close friends, or with your uh, brother and sister. But never, <laughs> yeah, but never use it in the work environment. That is not appropriate at all. You can offend other people. Yeah. You can offend it. So you better like be quiet, please. Right. Silence. Or can you zip it a little bit? Yeah, you can use that. Zip it could be like a more informal way to ask somebody to make silence, right? So now you learn something new, a new expression, zip it. So we can just, in this class, we can use zip it, but never shut up. No, that is kind of rude and unrespectful, all right? I had to let you know that because that is the most common expression that we use, right? Mm -hmm. But no, don't use it. Only with your friends and your sisters and brothers if you wanted to, but no more, all righty? Okay, Guy, let me ask you something. What was the expression that we used, that we learned yesterday when we were talking about if you're stuck in traffic and you can't move? Do you remember that expression? Hopefully, Mr. Freddy have seen the previous video class. Hopefully, as a really good student that he is. Yes. No. <laughs> no, right? At least he's so sincere. He's a no. Okay. <laughs> so, do you remember that expression? Cut in Ternita, a rush. welcome to the garden. Yeah. What, Andresita? Cut in a rush. Cut in a rush. Yeah, that's a good one. Cut in a rush. Yeah. Have you listened to that or have you heard or have you used that expression before, Freddy? I have listened to it, but I'm not used to it. Okay, so cut in a rush when you're stuck in traffic. Yeah. Yeah. So when you said, hey, what well, you came late, I was cutting a rush, man. And you and you know that <laughs> you were stuck in traffic. There was a traffic jam, and you couldn't move. But you see, that's a new, that's a good expression. Instead of saying the whole soap opera, like I'm sorry, the reason when I came late is because of nah. You just said I was caught in a rush, man, and everybody understood that you weren't stuck in traffic. So you see, English is simple, simplifies. We use a lot of phrasal verses and a lot of phrases and a lot of idioms. To express ourselves, which I really, I really like it a lot. To be honest with you, yes. Delmita is here right now, and I think that where she lives is like harder, right? Yes, it's hard. Really? Oh yes. my goodness. Yeah. Uh, I, I, do you think it's it's about to rain? In my song. Uh huh. Do you think so? It was raining. Ah, was raining. Uh, yeah. Right now, in a, a few uh, minutes ago, no, uh, or today in the morning. Uh, I don't know. I I think that is in the in the afternoon. Oh, okay. It was raining. Ah, in the, in my case, in the morning. In oh. the morning it was raining. <laughs> yeah, at seven thirty a.m. in the morning, I was like, what? Yeah, it was really weird. But it was really hot. Yeah, yeah so I can yeah. imagine. Hopefully, then we take it start raining uh, when you go back to sleep, so you can be pampered, right? What? Yeah, yeah. That's that's why she's so fresh right now. Okay, tell me, guys, who wants it's to share? So yeah, today's um, date of your activity. And Darwin, welcome. Ah, uh, you see. I knew it that I told you guys that Mita was uh, drinking coffee or tea. But <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, right? cor it's corn coffee. Corn, corn coffee? coffee? Yeah. For real? Oh. Yes, it's more natural. It's natural. And how does it taste? Yeah. Also. How does it taste? Uh, it's similar. See, it's same. Ah, oh, that's nice. Almost same. 
Yeah. Almost the same. So you see, uh, Irwin always drinks coffee. Tell me to drink coffee or tea. And Mr. William, and right now, he was eating like fry, French fries. So that's good. <laughs> All righty. Guys, who can tell me how was your day? Uh, let's see. Jarvin, how was your day? Hopefully, Jarvin is here. Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Hello, sir. How are you doing, my friend? Uh, so, so. So, so, what happened? Uh, I have a, a busy day today. Ooh. I have a lot of activity to do. Uh -huh. I have a lot of meeting Oof. and I spend a lot of time reading an a email oh, and wow. checking some, some activity. Yes. Oof. So you are really tough. Right now? You're I am, really I, I am still working. You're still working? Yes. Goodness. Hey, at what time do you think you will end it up or you will finish? Uh -huh. Right it's now, nice. I am working from home. Oh, that's good. Yes. This is the reason why I'm here in, in the class. Uh -huh. I'm doing the 15th. Yeah, I can so imagine that. I, I hope to finish at 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. to check everything that I have to do. Mm -hmm. And after, I I go to sleep. My goodness. So well, what time do you think that you will finish it? At 11. Yeah. At 11 p.m. <gasps> yes, I hope that. Oh, okay. So you know what? I can chat with you after class. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, <of> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you let me do it, because to be honest with you, most of the time I finish uploading the videos and all the stuff at 11:30. Really? Yes. Every single day? Every single day, my friend. Oh my god. <laughs> and and I start working at 6 a.m. in the morning. Oh my god. So can you imagine you, how tough is my schedule every day? Yes, I can imagine. And I still have a lot of energy. <laughs> it is not because of Starbucks, okay? No, no, okay. no, 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 no. And Red Bull, no, it's, it's my attitude. attitude. Yes, I, yes. you know what? Sometimes I, I surprise myself because I'm older. I'm not a young girl anymore. And I have to accept <laughs> it. And what, there's nothing else that I can do, right? <laughs> but I must still have uh, energy to move on. You yeah. look like that. I do sound like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I have an energy. I don't know why. Everybody's <laughs> like, it, all my students and my friends. You eat a lot of candy, maybe. No, for, for <laughs> real, that I do not know. Actually, guys, I don't like sweet things. Really? No, no. Well, some of them, yes. Like, for example, chocolate, right? But I prefer dark chocolate, of course. Uh, sometimes I want like a piece of cake, right? For example. Um, <laughs> and i don't know and hot chocolate like as a beverage as well but sweet sweet things um not really my mom i used to say that when when i was a child and that was yesterday right yesterday okay <laughs> i remember yeah tell me that that was yesterday i remember she said that my sister and i uh, they used to give us like a candies right for all the kids right they give a candies and my sister ate them completely i just Swallow up a little bit and then I put it out of my mouth and left it on a I don't know inside the fridge or on a table or any place I found and I do not finish them yeah so basically my mom said that that I, I, I don't like sweet things and you know what my sister ended up to be diabetic and I don't have diabetes yeah, I do have another problem, right? But not that one. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? Yeah, I don't like sweet things. Some of them, yes, but not like, I like acid things and uh, like mango with chili and salt. And I watched it. Ooh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, 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 with tahin, right? With tahin. Oh, yeah, that's, ooh. Oh, let's see. I like sour things like as, as well, like pacaya. I like pacaya. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but the, the tender ones, the baby ones, because the baby ones I like less sour, right? Than the other ones. Uh, what else? I like an owl for sure, definitely. Yeah, with milk or without it. It's no, you know what, Amelia and Kenya is because uh, when I was a child, my grandma, there used to be like a market near where she left, where she lived, where she used to live. So when she knows, or when she knew, for example, that I was about to arrive her, to her house, she just uh, went to the um, uh, the girl who has who is preparing all the juices and all the stuffs at the market, and she bought me a carao every time. So basically, since I was a little baby, 
I learned how to drink that beverage. <laughs> that's the reason why I love it. And I really love it. And you know what? That's really healthy. That's really <laughs> healthy at all. But of course, I know that you need to like, get used to it, right? Because the smell is not so friendly, but the properties was amazing. Oh, you know what? I used to live in, in Guatemala like a long time ago. And in Guatemala, uh, there's look like, um, well, what can I say? Native people, yeah, native people that basically prepares a lot of things, a lot of dishes. But I remember that we passed really early morning when we went to the market with to the market with my mama, and they used to prepare like uh, orange juice or carrot juice. I remember that, and my mama always bought me a carrot juice, and it was a huge bag like this. So that was my breakfast. Can you imagine? So every morning, I. I drank that, that and, and it's really, really delicious. Just carriages. Ooh, that was nice. And also like um, some ant, some popos, remember? The mayo, right? <laughs> I already tried them, you know what? And they're really delicious. They look, they taste like uh, pepescas. <laughs> yeah. Pepescas fried. They, they, yeah. They, 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 they taste like that with lemon, right? <laughs> Squeeze the lemon. Yeah, I like it. It's like my, a my husband got sick. Bucato di cardinale. Yeah, bucato di cardinale. <laughs> yeah, molto bene. <laughs> yeah, you know what? My husband once oh, uh, in the lago de uh, what's the a Apulo? They used to like sell Apulo like uh, tortillas, right? With a fried uh, fish and all the stuff, and he loves it. That is one of his favorite fish, fried fish. Uh, so basically, I think that that day he ate like a four, four of them, four like dishes. Yeah, each dish is like a two tortillas and one fried fish. So he just ended up like eating one, two, like eight tortillas and four little fishes. <laughs> Can you imagine? He was really starving. And he got sick. He said, oh, I have a stomach age. But it's worth it. It's worth it, he said. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fried fish is amazing, right? Ooh. You know what? I wish we could see each other so we can do a picnic. What do you think, guys? That would be nice, right? Hey, we can do a picnic. Why not? Virtual picnic. That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> right? yes. Yeah. Let me think about it. Let me ask for permission. <laughs> and then we could do that. That would at least with beverage, right? Mr. Willow will bring like French fry, you will bring a tea, Mr. L or a coffee. Mr. Irwin will bring a cup of coffee and then we're so on, right? <laughs> That's With good. With flavor nostalgic. What? <laughs> With flavors nostalgic. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Mr. Fernando will bring like a soda or I don't know, like salutaries, maybe. That could be right, yeah. And Amelia will bring Jack. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, guys. Do you remember? Let's uh, let's help the pe the people who was not yesterday. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Let's double check something. Hey, did you remember? Do you remember what we saw yesterday? Any ideas, volunteer? Uh -huh. Now that I'm asking that, everybody's turning on the camera. Ah. <laughs> what we saw yesterday? Uh huh. Only one. I need only one, one participant. Only one. No more. Don't tell me that you do not know. Come on. Uh huh. Only one. Joshi. Maybe how to handle the some crisis uh, uh -huh. at workplace. For example, what crisis? Uh, Earthquakes, uh, incendio, how do you say incendio? Uh-huh, exactly. What else? Uh, maybe the example that the, the books gives give you, give us, like uh, maybe a customer uh, have to defend himself because ah. so, a seller, a seller or employee. Uh-huh. Um, when you uh, when you start with a new product in your, or your your business and the product has a flaw, 
Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, you know what? There's two choices. Oh, he's Reno. He's a good student. What do you think, guys? <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you, Fernando. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> Very good. Good job, Fernando. That's the spirit. Excellent, my friend. What else, guys, besides what Fernando said? What else we saw yesterday? Mm -hmm. Volunteers, big teams. Huh? We practice the reading skill also. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We practice the reading skill with the intonation, right? Remember? And we did like a role plays. And it was nice, right? Because we practiced and we felt really that we were speaking. So that's amazing. Good job. Good job, guys. Now I want to share with you uh, the dialogue that we um, basically practiced yesterday, but I wanted to focus on some particular expressions. So allow me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Let me share right now my screen with you. Whoops. That's the one that I need. There you go. Mm -hmm. All righty. Can you see it, guys? Yeah? No. Is it okay right now? Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Is it okay or would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? Bigger. For me, it's okay. For you, it's okay. Okay. And um, But you can do it bigger, please. Bigger? Okay. Okay, that's what I was asking. All right, what about now? Much better? Yes. Yeah? Okay, cool. So uh, remember that that was the one that we practiced yesterday, right? This uh, a dialogue. Okay, but I want you guys to take a look at this. Could have prevent, could have called for, and wouldn't have allowed. Guys, what do you think these expressions are? Okay, let me, let me just like separate the question. And before we go on, okay. We have could, we have should, and we have would, all right? Well, in this case, wouldn't, right? Because it's the, the negative weight. What, what are they? What kind of verbs are they? Model verb. Model verse. Very good, excellent. Okay, model verse. Okay. Now, may I ask you something? Those model verse that we are using right now, should, could, and would. Uh, if you read it, the whole sentence, um, we have, of course, we have the verb have, right? As a main, LC, uh, the second auxiliary. And we have the main verb, we have prevent, cold, and allowed, but we have it in the past, right? So prevented, cold, and allowed, right? So tell me something, these verbs, uh, are in present or in past? In past. In past, okay. So if we have could, would, should, and prevented, allowed it, and called in the past, that means that those verbs, guys, or those sentences are model verbs in the past. Okay? So that is what we practiced yesterday, model verbs in the past. You, without you didn't know that. Or maybe yes, you find it out, or maybe no. But right now, I want you to focus on that. Why? Because we are mostly like used to um, kind of expressions like could, should, and would, but in present. But also, guys, we could do that model verse in the past. But let me ask you something. Do you know or analyze the idea of each paragraph? Analyze this first paragraph. Analyze this one one that we have it here and this one can you please analyze each of them and let me know or in your ideas or what you understand for example the expression could have pretend what express what that in sentence means in this particular context just read it carefully for yourself and when you're ready or if you want to share your idea, please raise your hand or let me know, okay? I just give you one time right now. Analyze it. Okay. 
Tell me when you're ready. Mm, it's a suggestion. And... Which one? Which one? The could, the should, or the would? Because each mm. of them are different. Uh, I guess that the, the, the three ones are like a suggestion that they could do, but they uh, couldn't. Aha. Uh -huh. What about the second one? The should have. A club or, yes. That is a suggestion. Uh -huh. It's like an order. Uh -huh. Should have called. Aha, uh -huh. you have called for press conference. Okay. What about the first one? Could have prevent. I'm just asking you. I'm not giving you the answer right now. I just want you to analyze it. You're going to be the teachers today. <laughs> but no, 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 no. But you're going to help me. Doris, what do you think? Well, in schools, it's a. Uh... When I refer to something, uh -huh. abilities. Aha, uh aha, -huh. uh -huh. you got the idea. Very good. Thank you so much. Are you agree with Doris? Yes, go ahead, Doris. Continue, please. Uh, should is uh, maybe a suggestion. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And good, good is, uh, is something to uh, when. Yeah, uh, you can do it. You can do it, Doris. You can do it. You can write. You uh, might have uh, um, might have possibilities. Aha! Uh -huh. Like a willingness, right? Okay. Uh -huh. mm, very good. Excellent. Hey, are you agree with Doris, guys? Or do you have a, a different suggestion for us? Different opinion? <laughs> Well, the this sentence is 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 um, is uh, yes, Elmita. It's a conditional sentence, also. Which one? The last one or which one? The last. The last. The last one. one. Yeah. Very good. Oh my God, you are so smart. Very good. Excellent. Good job, guys. Now let me share my uh, my screen with them. Can you see this part, the left, the right part? Can you see it? This part, can you see it? Can you see my screen, guys? Yes. Yes? Can yeah. you see that the right side? Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So could have prevent. This particular expression, guys, is to express that something was possible in the past or that someone had the ability, what Dori said, ability to do something in the past, but they decide not to do it. Let's take a look. It must be an employee trying to sue the company. They could have prevented the EDC issue. They have the ability to do that, but their poor recreation department is not that solid, but they decide not to do it, you see? So when you use could have, and of course, any verb that you would like to use after that is when you would like to express that something was possible in the past or that someone had the ability to do something in the past, but they decide not to do it. As simple as that. What about a should? Uh, I think Telmita and also Doris mentioned that, and, as, and also Joshi, should we use to make suggestions? Yeah, you should, for example, if I feel sick, you should go to the doctor, right? That's an, a suggestion, right? Okay, so, but this one is to make suggestions in the past or to expect that something would have been a good idea to put in sure. practice. But the problem is that it wasn't done. For example, take a look. I think so too. When the rumor went online, the PR department should have called for a press conference. It was a good idea that they take that action. The problem is that they, they didn't do it. So this action to call the press for a conference wasn't done. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I think it, what, what Delma said, wouldn't have allowed. It is what also Dori says, to show a past willingness. And it's similar, guys, to the third conditional, but without using the if 
class. I wanted to share right now with you that because I want you to understand and to know where you have to use could, where you use would, and where you use should. That those are considered model verbs, but in the past. May I ask you right now, do you have any, uh, but any, 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 any um, doubts about that? No? Let's double check if you are already clear about that. I need your help, guys. I need your help with this speaking and writing activity regarding that, because what we're doing right now is to recap what we have seen just today. So, I, 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 yes, Doris? Question. Go ahead. Uh, in, this, in this case, uh, it's, it's always uh, the model verbs is, is uh, with a have. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, because uh, the, the model verse in this case, the model verse in the past has the, the formula like could have, would have, or should have, plus the past participle of the verb. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. You remember that past participle? Always we use have and the, and the past participle of the verb, right? Yeah. And it mm -hmm. depends, for example, if you use it, it could be regular verbs like the one that we have in the example, or it could be irregular verbs. That's why I, I emphasize that you need to learn or you need to memorize the verb by heart because they are really useful. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. So would you, are you, um, do you want me to, you want to help me with this exercise, guys, or no? Yes, yes. yes or no? Yes. Okay, I need a spirit, yes or no? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the positive evidence. Like, come on, energy, right? Yeah, we're on Wednesday. Two more days off, and then we're going to weekend. <laughs> we're almost finished. Can you imagine? That's amazing. Well, no, that's not amazing because I will miss you guys. I don't know if you're going to miss me, but I'm going to miss you. All righty. So let me double check. Let me share right now my screen, and then we move on. There you go. Okay. There you go. This is the example. You see? All that I want you is to read it carefully, the sentence, and please help me. Help me finish the sentences. Listen carefully. We do have the verb that we're going to use. You don't have to invent. We have the verb here. You see, be, request, take, use, and be. And take a look at the information that is in parentheses. Suggestion in the past. Past willingness, suggestion in the past, past willingness, and past possibility. So that will give you the clue to which of the past models you need to use. Could, should, or would. Okay? Okay, take a look. Hey, just to double check. Let me, let me stop sharing and then double check. Uh-huh. To express suggestion in the past, do we use could, should, or would? Should. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. To express, uh, let me double check what else I'm going to say. Yes. And to express uh, suggestions in the past, it should, right? What about mm -hmm. possibility? Oh, good. Uh, very good. And what about willingness? Would. Have. Would, would, would or wouldn't, right? Depends on that. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. I just want to recap because now you already have it in your mind. You can do it. All righty, there you go. So let me go back and continue sharing my screen. There you go. I'm giving you time. And let's see. Kenya, you want to try number one? Yes. You can do it. Manager. Um, should have been honest with the employees about the product. About the product, what? Recalls. Recalls, very good. Uh, now do it one more time. All together, you can do it. The manager should have been honest with the employees about the product calls. Very good. Good job. Give me the fire girl. Yeah, you rock and roll. Yeah. Amelia, you want to try number three? I knew it, teacher. Okay, go ahead. 
past willingness. And uh, we cannot hear you. I think your Microsoft is off. Yes, there you go. Thinking. <laughs> ah, you were like Shakespeare. Yeah. To be or not to be? Not That's to the be, question. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead, girl. <laughs> Let me see. I guess he's the president. Wouldn't uh, wouldn't wouldn't or would? Would would? Uh huh. Would what? Yeah. Let me see. The president would request. Uh -huh. Would request. Would have. Would have. Would yeah. Would have request, would have huh? request for a press conference. Let me see. And, but there was no time for the pay, paperwork. Very good. Now do me a favor. Try just to say it once. Don't doubt. You can do it. Okay. The president wouldn't have request for a press conference, but there was no time for the paperwork. Wouldn't have or would have? I would, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> it was would have. Would have. Yeah. Uh -huh. One more time. You can do it, girl. Okay. The president would have request for a press conference, but there was no time for the paperwork. Very good. I like your tone of voice. Excellent job, my friend. Very good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Fernando, you want to try? Yes. Number four, please, if you don't mind. Suggestion pass. Okay. The employee, the employees should have took Yay! the deal. Would What's the past principle of take? Taken, taken. Sorry. Oh my god, you kill me. Like, oh my god, I have a grammar attack. Okay, go yes. ahead. <laughs> yes, come on. The, the employee should have taken the deal, but they preferred to go on the strike. Very good. Now, once again, please, without stopping, you can do it. The employee should have taken the deal, but they prefer to go on the strike. Again. The employees should have taken the deal, but they preferred to go on the strike. Very good. Okay, now, yes, because you said a strike, and it's strike. Strike. That's what I make strike. you repeat it, I know. But it's good okay. now, yeah. Good to go. Way to go, my friend. Excellent. All righty, number five. William, what you have for us? Okay, when the earthquake hit, the players could have used different routes of representation for the delivery. Again, because I can hardly hear you. <laughs> I'm yeah. death right now. Sorry for that. Mm -hmm. When the earthquake hit, the suppliers could have used different routes of transportation for the, the delivery. Aha, uh -huh. okay, very good, excellent, good job. And last but not least, uh, 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 Andresito, you would like to try the last one? The crisis could have be could have. being avoided with uh -huh. good planning aha uh -huh, very good now can you do it one more time without stopping without doubting the crisis could have been avoided with good planning very good excellent job amazing good job okay, one more time please <laughs> the, the crisis could have been avoided with good planning very good, excellent, good job. Okay, excellent, very good, very good. That's the spirit. Uh -huh. Somebody's still eating, I don't know why. <laughs> no, William, I'm just teasing you. You're allowed to, don't worry about it. That's okay, yes. Without like, like, um, like transportation, right? Without gasoline, yeah. it does not work. Okay. So Absolutely. human beings without food, we do not work. You know, I don't know about you guys, but in the morning, really early morning, when I start um, working, I'm like this. But as soon as I drink a cup of coffee and I have a okay. ham, and cheese cha uh -huh, ham and cheese sandwich or something like that, right? And I was like, huh? I have energy. Yeah, because you cannot imagine. <laughs> you, you, I want, I, well, when, maybe once I will send you a picture of what would be my morning routine. And I'm like this, and my pets and my cat are laying on the bed as well. 
<laughs> Everybody's sleepy. Can you imagine? It's too early in the morning. Ay, thanks God. I used to work at 4 a.m. in the morning, but no anymore. No way. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Imagine. Imagine, Will. 4 a.m. in the morning. Well, they used to pick me up at 1.30 a.m. in the morning. No way. I don't want that to schedule anymore. No. Oof. 1.30 a.m. El sueño más rico, right? Yeah. No way. Oof. No. But no. At 6, I'm okay right now. At least I'm working from home. Good. All right. Very good, guys. So, do you remember what was the sentences that we, uh, we did? Do you remember that? Okay, let's do something. <laughs> All righty. I'm going to share it right now with you. And I'm, going, and, I want, and I'm going to give it to you like five times or five minutes to memorize it. And then we're going to do an activity, okay? <laughs> so let me share right now my screen with you once one more time. And of course, IT department. I will try to send it to you as soon as possible, okay? I will let you know once I send it to you because if not, I could get in trouble with the IT guys. Did you receive it already? Yes. Uh-huh, I'm just asking. Okay, you have the sentences. All that you gotta do is Think about what, you, what we have done right now, right? Okay. Could, would, or should, whatever. I will give you a five minutes to memorize it. And then we're going to do a memory and a speaking activity. Got it? Okay. I will give you five minutes. Today's 8.47. Uh, let's do it. Let me double check. At 8.52. All right. Okay. I will give you time. In the moment, you can drink a cup of coffee, you can drink a soda, a salutari, a bowl of watermelon, I don't know. Pick, okay? <laughs>
Two more minutes, guys. No, one more minute. Okay, it's time, right? All righty. So let me do something right now before we move on. Okay. All righty, guys, are you ready? No, right? <laughs> okay, but let's give it a try. Fernando, do me a favor. Tell me. Can you, can, uh, do you remember the first sentence? Uh, the first sentence of the... Uh -huh, of the thing that you were supposed to practice and memorize right now. Uh, I, I resolved again, but I don't, I didn't memorize it. Well, sentence. try to do your best. Yeah. Um, Let me okay. just give you like a little help. A little help, right? The manager. No, don't don't help him, Delmita. <laughs> the manager. Uh huh. Past possibility was. Past possibility. Ah, uh, let's see. No, it was suggestion in the past, actually. Ah, suggestion. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. The manager have the, the bear right Suggestion. Idea. Suggestion. So, would, should, or would? Ah, should. Uh -huh. should have. Uh -huh. Should have what? Should have, should have, should have been. Been. Ah. Uh. I, I, I didn't remember. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. But you did a good job. At least you remember half of the sentence. All right. Very good. Should have been. Uh huh. Uh, leave it like that way. Kenya, can you help him? The managers should have been honest with the employees. Um. Ah, yes, almost, <laughs> almost, almost, yay. About the product recall. Yeah, very good job. Oh my God, what a good memory you have. Okay, so now repeat it for another. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, the manager should have been honest with the employees. Uh huh. You're missing. Uh, uh huh, Kenya. About the product recalls. About the product recall. Do it one more time. You can About do it, for Fernando. Okay. Do it one more time. Uh, the manager should have been honest with the employees about the product recall. Very good. So now do me a favor. Don't 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 memorize and, and and put your um your eyes on the top. No, try to like do an eye contact. Okay. An eye contact and and for everybody. Okay, let me put you right now in the first place. Okay, <laughs> yes, try to do I'm an eye contact. Yes, yeah. yes, and please try to say the same expression one more time. Okay, uh, the manager should have been. 
honest with the employees about the product recall. Wow, very good job. You know what I did that? I did that because I want you guys to, to feel comfortable about expressing your opinion about something. And when, you, and when you are sure about what you're doing, what you're saying, what you're doing, you just do an eye contact. Not only to transmit your point of view, but to also to make the other people feel that what you are saying is true and what you are saying, you believe it, you're sure. So is it, communication is really important. If, for example, I said, the manager should have been honest with employees about the product recall. And I'm and my eyes are on the top of the heaven, right? Do you think that they will believe what I'm what I'm saying? Not really, right? Because they said, oh, oh, they oh somebody taught this guy to memorize that phrase. Oh, he's like not so sure about what he's saying. Okay, so that's why I ask you that to, to do that, Fernando, and not only for Fernando, for everybody, eye contact. Of course, you need to like control it because you don't want to be like the manager should have been honest, right, with employees like that. And you're like, and you're almost killing with your eyes, like, I gotcha, I gotcha, right? Like meaning, right? Gotcha. No, 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 no. Of course, you need like to moderate, right, right? Don't feel like, don't do like this because you're going to make the other people feel like you're the FBI, right? No way. Of course, you need to do an eye contract and bad with a calibration, okay? That's cool. Excellent. So, Fernando, one more time, please. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, the manager should have been honest with the employees about the product recall. Very good. Good job, my friend. Excellent. Uh huh. Now, do me a favor. Kenya, do you have a pen there? No. Do you have a pen? A pencil? No. A hand sanitizer? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, but you have your finger, right? Yep. Okay. So, there's another thing, another tip that we're going to use to improve our pronunciation. And one of the things that I will teach you is that you gotta open your mouth, no matter what. Exactly, like Jesse, Jesse's doing really good. Exactly. Let me see if I can find something here. Na, 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 na. Ah, yes. Well, this, ah, yes, I found it. <laughs> well, first I'm going to put some hand sanitizer, right? Because this is being like, the kitty was playing with this pencil. <laughs> okay, so guys, sometimes we need to improve our pronunciation and we need to open our mouth, but sometimes we do not open it. So one of the tips that I will give it to you is that you put anything here like this. And if you would like to pronounce it, you would need to open your mouth by heart. Okay. So, for example, I imagine you said, like, Fernando, um, the employees should have been uh, honest with the employee. Well, no, the, no, the manager should, should have been honest with the employees about the product recall, right? Okay, yeah. It sounds natural, right? But for you to improve it, you can put it like this. And you said, the manager should, should have been honest, right, with employees about the product recall. You, if I said the manager should have been, you see, if I do like that, you would understand me, right? The manager should have been, no. You said the manager should have been honest with employees about the product recall. You see, I have to open my mouth. And if, and if I do exercises like this, when I take it off, the pronunciation will come better and faster. The manager should have been honest with employees about the product recall. You see, now it sounds much better. Okay, so try okay. to do that, this kind of exercise like this. Because you will have to open your mouth. If you I do not a, open your mouth. Mm -mm. Go ahead, Fernando. 
in, in the part of uh, should have been uh -huh. in Spanish means debió haber sido o debería haber sido. Debería de haber sido. Ok. Uh -huh. Debería de haber sido honesto. Should have been honest. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Good job. And good job, Kenya. All right. What about number two? Fre uh, William. <laughs> you have a lot of gasoline. William, number two. Sentence number two, please. I, we cannot hear you. I don't know why. The president. The president should have request uh -huh. for the press. Uh huh. Yes, for the uh, what? The president, uh huh, should have request for a press conference, uh huh. Uh, there isn't time for I don't know. There isn't no. There was no time. Ah, oh, there was no time for paper. No. Paper what? Paper. Uh huh. Exactly, Telma. Paperwork. <laughs> Very good. One more time. The president. Um, uh huh. The president. The president would have request. Would would have request. Would have request. Uh huh. Would have request. Uh huh. For the press conference. For that no. For our press conference. Ah, for our press conference, but uh, there wasn't time. Paperwork. There wasn't time for paperwork. One more time, please. <sighs> uh huh. I know. I want you to 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 sound confident about what you're saying. Okay. The president was. Uh, the president would have would have request uh, for the, mm -mm. the press conference. Uh huh. You see. Uh huh. <laughs> The president would have request for a press conference. Uh, okay, the president would have request for a press conference, mm -hmm. but there wasn't time for the paperwork. Very good. Now do me a favor. Try to put here. Try to try to try to say it. Don't worry. Open your mouth. The French fries. Uh huh. <laughs> For the French fries, exactly. Yeah. Oh my God. I know it's hard, but you you need to open your mouth no matter what. The president uh, would have a request uh -huh. for a press uh, conference. Uh, for a press, press conference, but there is no time for paperwork. There is no. There wasn't. Oh, there wasn't time for the paperwork. Very good. It starts a little bit, right? Like you're like, ah, yum, yum. okay, very good job, excellent. How do you feel it? Much better now. Yeah, better. Ooh, yes, and it hurts, right? A little bit. Okay. Hey, what, what about number three? Thank you, Madeline. Go ahead. Number like what? <laughs> number three, girl. Oh. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> the employees should have taken mm -hmm. should have taken, taken the deal uh -huh. uh, but, but they, they preferred, preferred to go uh, to go strike. to go on a strike on a strike very good now say it again but with self-confidence <laughs> the employees uh, the employees should have been no. The employees uh, should have taken uh, the um, the deal, uh -huh. but they prefer to go on a strike. Very good. So do me a favor. Try to eye contact. Say it one more time. You can do it, girl. You can do it. The employees should have taken uh, the deal. The deal, but they prefer to go on a strike. Very good, good job, excellent. So you see, the employees should have taken the deal, but they prefer to go on a strike. Very good, like you are sure about what you're saying and you're expressing your opinion. Freddy, what about number four? What do you have for us? 
Number four, do you remember? Yes, of course. Ah, shame on you. <laughs> All righty. What, what you can remember, don't worry about that if you do not remember everything. Number five, when the earthquake hit. When the earthquake hits, the suppliers, it's a suggestion, no, it's a possibility. Uh -huh. The possibility was cool. Uh -huh. Could have used different routes of transportation for the deliveries. Very good. That's good. That's awesome. What about the last one, Joshi? What you have for number six for us? Teacher, I didn't remember. <laughs> I didn't remember <laughs> the crisis. Okay. Okay. No problem. And uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Telmita, do you remember number six? The crisis. Um, the crisis will have been. Will have been. I don't remember. <laughs> past possibility. Remember, past possibility could have been. Uh, have been avoided. Avoided, yeah. <laughs> almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Who can help me? The almost there. Doris. Early. We good planning. Yeah. Uh, very good. Yeah. Time. Okay, one more time with self confidence. <laughs> well, um, of course, you did it. You did it good. You did it good. The crisis? The crisis uh, would have been avoided. Could have been avoided, yeah. Uh, with, with good planning. With a good planning. Very good. Okay, one more time, but with self confidence. Look to everybody. In your eyes. The crisis would have been. Ah, ah, you can do it, baby girl. You can do been it. Avoid the good with good planning. Very good. good planning. You see, you could do it. Excellent job. Very good. I almost feel like she's going to say the crisis could have been avoided with a good planning. Yeah, very good job. Excellent. Hey, guys, how was this exercise? Good, good. <laughs> good, right? You know what I did that? Because um, when you are uh, talking about something, right now we're talking about crisis in the uh, employment environment, right? But when you are making or, or expressing your opinion about something, you need to like sound a self-confidence that you know what you're doing and you know what you're talking about. And one of the th things is that you need to use the tone of voice correctly, but at the same time, your eyes, the eye contact is really important, communication skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why. So I want you to speak correctly, but with self-confidence and using all the vocabulary that you know so far, because you know, you are really smart guys. All of you, you know, but you need to like, feel sure about what you're saying. You are really smart guys. All of you are really smart. That's why when the police stops you, looks at your face, your expression. Uh-huh. You know what? You about something. Uh-huh. Because you know what? Well, I'm a journalist. I'm a specialist in communication. So basically communication is not just saying something out of your mouth. That way you stand up, that way you use your your eyes, the way you dress, uh, everything communicates. Yeah. It could like reinforce what you are saying or could, they could say the opposite thing, right? So it's really, really important that I can't about without too much, right? With equilibration. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, somebody else is drinking a tea and Mr. Irwin or, already has his cover, right? Yeah, <laughs> very good, excellent. Guys, you have any doubts, any ideas? Do you like more exercise like that? Memories, exercise? Memorize mm -hmm. exercises. You see, we are uh, developing the four skills in a different way, in a different way. Why, why this kind of exercise is really important? Because for example, when you are with a client, Oh, would you like uh, to express your reports, your daily or your monthly reports to your supervisor or whatever? You would need to, to like be like active listener, but at the same time, uh, you will need to recap 
the information that they said. And when you recap the information, you, you, you sound like if you're knowing what, to, what you do, you also sound like if you are willing to help, but at the same time, you also sound like you care about what the other people said. And that is really, really important to give a good active listening, but at the same time, to know how to recap the things. Yeah, the agent who works in a call center, they know what I'm talking about. Right, but it does, doesn't matter if you do not work in a call center, you need to develop that skill because it's really important. Marketing department, for example, when you're dealing with customers and that customer ask you for a specific product or a specific way to like um, help them to promote their uh, enterprises with a different um, and another in enterprises or a different public. You said, okay, so your goal is this and this and this and this. And what you want is this and this and this and this. Is that right? So you're saying that you got to recap. So that's why it's really important to do this kind of exercises. Yeah. Because it sounds like you're active listening that you're, and you're willing to help and you care what the other people said. It's really, really important. That's good. All right, guys. Way to go. And talking about what you care about, what other people said and other people behavior and all the stuff and regarding conflicts, because basically this is the recap that what we have seen yesterday. Okay. So right now, before we move on, I just want to know if we have any doubts or any questions about what we have seen, guys. Is everything okay? Like water, the crystal water or like horchata? No? Like Carao? Uh, Jamaican use? No, everything is clear. Okay. 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 I'm so glad that everything is clear. Now, guys, let me move on and let me ask you something. Uh, 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 remember that we have been talking about crisis and all those stuff, right? So, um, do you remember, guys, when we practiced, like, I think it was two or three classes before? that a manager had talked with an employee to discuss the, the score that the employee got and the skills. Do you remember that, that dialogue? Do you remember that? They were discussing that. So I just wanted your opinion about something. Uh, can you please let me know what is an example of subordinates using emotions to manipulate others? Do you think that we can use emotion to manipulate other people? What do you think? In the envi work environment. We, we, that happens most of the time in the family environment, right? But in work environment, can we use emotions to manipulate others? What do you yes. Think? yes, right? We can do it. Can you give me an example about that? Only one. I know everybody wants to participate. Hold your horses. I just need only one. <laughs> and they're always like, <laughs> yeah, just yeah. one example. Uh -huh. Well, for example, some manager says that other people say this about you uh -huh. and that you are worse or you can do that. So are you agree? I mean, you are going to laugh that they say this about you or something. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. Yeah. And that happens. Yeah. You're right, you're right about that. Exactly. So tell me, guys, tell me something, guys. Uh, in the work environment, that is what we call emotional intelligence. You know what's that? Any idea? Brainstorm. Any idea? Have you listened about emotional intelligence? Erwin, I don't know if you emotional, have used that, emotional, emotional intelligence. Yes, have you heard yes. that or have used that terminology? Yes, uh, yes, what is it? But all the people, we have an emotion, okay? Uh-huh. When you have a, a work or the staff, mm -hmm. you will be so different. You be relaxed all the time, okay? You speak slowly. And listen to you have to control about your life, control about your emotion. This is the 
emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. Control about you. Well, it's different because when you have a woman, you have a man. Uh -huh. The woman for you know, for you for your life. Mm -hmm. The woman, the woman, also emotion. Yes, you're it's right so about that. Emotion. But the man is more emotion. Is more but, rational. But more less, more or less. More or less. Uh, uh, I can I, I I know many things about psychology, but it's no no rational. Many ah, things. okay. Yeah, in the psychology, you no, know, you know, the for example, uh -huh. for example, this is Dr. Irwin. Yeah, you have a, <laughs> sorry, if you have a family. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can you can you can see the man the man the the father and the mother. Mm -hmm. yeah. For example. Uh, the, the 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 father maybe sometimes more or less sometimes will take the beer mm -hmm. with the friends okay mm -hmm. okay but the 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 woman in general will think oops if I take the the beer with my friends or with my uh, I don't know oops but first my son first my daughter first my life. First, my family. Uh -huh. This is the psychology in the woman. Uh -huh. But in the men, no. Oh, I want it. Go for it. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. And if you, when you have a manager, when you have a manager, you have to be with the control. Uh -huh. Because maybe uh, one employee, one employee will be with angry. And if you are angry, you will be more angry and mm -hmm. more angry, more explosion, okay? Yes. But you have to have the control. Uh, it is it different, the general, because you, in the past, in, in that moment, will change all the things. In the past, uh, there are a uh, few mm -hmm. uh, managers women. Mm -hmm. for this one, because the women who you in, the, in the life are so emotional. But it's in the in the past. But in that moment, uh, all the women general, all the women manager, will teach about emotional intelligence, uh -huh. and they are be so with so control. Okay, that's if, nice. If you want to, to to think about this one, if you want to remember, do you know uh, uh, Margaret Thatcher? Ah yes, Miss Margaret wow. Thatcher, of course. Is it, was, is that, in the eyes were, yeah. Uh -huh. It's so different. The, they say, la mujer de hierro. In yes, that moment, in I that am... moment many years ago, uh -huh. it's so different that the that the the general the, the, the women. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, of course. The iron was the women. <laughs> and yes. it was true, and it was true. Yes, it's yes. many years ago. Can yes. you want, it's many years ago. In that moment, uh, the, the that generation, the millennial generation, and the manager, the young manager. Women and women, all the all all the supervisor or or supervisor or manager uh, studied. They too have studied. Mm -hmm. They too have studied. Is it correct? Yes, they, they should have studied. Studied emotional intelligence. Yes, you're right about that, and this is really important because. Uh, yeah, a good example of Erwin, what, I, what he like explained to us, the difference between the family environment and also the uh, work environment, because it's true. So now, guys, uh, talking about that, let me give you like, um, thank you, Erwin. Let me give you some extra information about emotional intelligence. Okay. This is the definition. Uh, Telmita, could you please be so kind to read it for me? But I'm going to put it a little bit bigger, okay? So it will be clear. Okay, can you please read it for us? This. Mm. Okay. Right. Emotional intelligence. Uh huh. This one, yes. Can you e see it? Yes, is the ability to manage, but your own emotions and understand the emotions of people around you. There are five key elements to e AI, which is the abbreviation of emotional yeah. intelligence. Uh -huh. Self 
awareness, awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. Social skills or social skills. abilities. Yes. Yeah, it's basically what Erwin said. Yes, you see, emotional intelligence is the ability, guys, the ability to equilibrate your own proper emotions and to understand the emotion of the people around you. Okay, so you need to manage to control both of them. And what Erwin said, yeah, it, it was sometimes it's a little bit hard and different from uh, coming from women than coming from men, of course, because of our natural behavior. So basic, and there are the five keys, five keys or five elements that will help you a lot. And we need to take into consideration self awareness, self regulation. We are talking about you, you, right? Control yourself, the motivation you are doing something, empathy. Hey guys, what is empathy? What is empathy? How you define empathy? Show respect to others. Uh -huh. no, respect, but what else? Includes more. Try to understand the situation on other people. Uh-huh, exactly. Like to put in the shoes of somebody else, right? Exactly. And the social skills. Uh-huh, social skills. There's a lot of social skills, right? There you go. So let me ask you something. Now that we have a, a, the definition and also the key elements about it, I just wanna ask you a quick question. Uh, do you think that it's helpful that a social uh, emotional intelligence is a helpful skill when dealing with conflicts? Do you think it's helpful? Why is helpful? Why? Because you said yes, but I want to know the reason why. What do you think about that? Be able to avoid the conflict. To avoid the conflict, exactly. But if, if for example, you cannot avoid the conflict, how you can use it? Because there are some conflicts that yes, you can avoid, right? And you do something to avoid that. But there's sometimes that you have you are in a conflict that you cannot avoid it. That is when you need to put emotional intelligence because you need to manage, equilibrate, right? What you feel with other people's feeling. I could give you like a- An example. Story. Yeah, go ahead. My coworker when, um, mm -hmm. when he messed up with something, mm -hmm. he uses emotional skills like, like making, making um, the boss feel sorry about him. Ah, really? How he uses, yeah. tell us. Can you share a little bit of experience? <laughs> so he'll be like, when he, he, mess, he mess up on something, he'll be like, oh, I'm sorry, you won't have it again. And more, uh -huh, manipulation. <laughs> I that I made that mistake. Can you forgive me? I won't do it again. And then he'll be like, yeah. making faces. And actually he always gets away with it. And when he wants to have a, let's say a permit, he'll be like, I need a permit because I need to do this and I don't have no one else to do it for me. And he'll, he'll put a lot of explanation on it. And actually he always gets the permit. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of his kisses to get a day off. Yeah. Oh my God, oh my goodness. <laughs> so you see, that's a really clear example. So in the case of a manager, how he's going to handle his emotions with the emotion of others. That's a really interesting question, right? Very good. That's a good example. Can you give me another example, guys? Because you said that it's useful and it is a useful skill. But it doesn't matter if you're a manager. You could be an employee and you are around another employees. Do you think that uh, emotional intelligence might help you or will help you? Uh-huh. Josuecito, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's important because if I have control in myself, I can manage uh, any situation with my coworkers. Uh huh. For ex do me a favor. Uh, do you remember any situation, maybe recent or in the past, that requires that you control your emotions or to use uh, emotional sure. intelligence? Can you come up with sure. an example? Sure. Uh, 
two years ago I had a little a little uh, problem with uh, our uh, supervisor mm -hmm. and our or of our lunch and they uh, child to uh, how do you say cover or replace yeah it's covered is replace or replace uh, it yeah, replace it for that hour, but they want to do that because uh, my uh, position was a little, a little um, difficult because mm -hmm. we need to uh, take care of the doc official document of the, the customs and they ah, want okay. to do that. And I, I thought with my manager because we we need to uh, have the time for for my lunch, and they was angry with me because but I <laughs> was my my responsibility because my another coworker wanted they wanted to talk with my my boss. I, I did that. And how you managed that? Because of course you were like feeling yeah, like it was, it, it was angry an, for uh, once. Yeah. With, for once. With me, like, Matter. Doesn't matter with but at that time, because of course you're a human being, right? You are yeah, emotional, you feel was, like they're attacking or it's un unfair. Yeah, our relationship in one way was so weird. But mm -hmm. I managed that and two weeks later was... Uh, that nothing happens. Normal, yeah. Okay, so that's good. That's a really good example. Yes. In that case, do you think that the, the emotional intelligence it was really helpful for you to handle that situation? Yeah. Because if not, what Erwin said, like, could be like, boom, a completely disaster. Yeah, the problem with escalated. Uh-huh, exactly. Very good, good example. Joshi, do you have another example? Not teacher, the same not as Josue. Like same as Josue. All righty. Kenya, Amelia, William, Fernando? Nah, uh, maybe I don't have experience in, in the env laboral environment, but maybe in life you have to, mm -hmm. to, to use your, your emotion for, for doing everything. For example, maybe uh, it depends on how you, you are feeling mm -hmm. or all the, the action that you do sometimes it's in base of uh, your emotions. Mm -hmm. So you have to to use your emotion, but you have to, to think very well about what are you doing with your emotion too. Why you, say you think it's really important? Yes, because it's, it's in the uh, laboral environment, um, the emotions are very important and to take decisions. You, to make decisions, uh huh. Yes, you you don't have to 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 take decisions in based only on your emotion. You have to uh -huh. think about the consequences and what what are you what could be if you do something, for example, uh, you can you you try to to see the possibilities, what could be wrong or could be well. Uh -huh. All all that all the factors are variables in, in the in the envir laboral environment. You you can control and uh, entirely all the variables, but you can use your emotion, your your maybe your, your experience and your abilities. You're right about that. Situation. Yeah, of course, you you pointed out something really important because sometimes, guys, we cannot control the, it, what is happening, right? Or we cannot control somebody else's emotions, right? But what, what we can control? Mm -hmm. We cannot control somebody else. Yes, of course, because they are individualists, of course, right? But what, what, what is that we can do for our side? Our actions and our feelings. Exactly. We we cannot control others, but we can tricky control ourselves, right? And that's really, really important. So it depends on you how you react. 
to that situation. And if you let your emotion flow, or if you can take control of them. Of course, what Erwin said is it was real because we are, as a girl, right? We are so emotional that we have just a period of, of times during the month where we're like a too extra emotional, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, of course. So like, and of course, and the men have to understand us as well, right? So they keep be like patient with us and all the stuff. Very good job, excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. That's a good example what you have made. I don't know, Amelia or Andresito or Jarvin, Jarvin. Ah, I want to listen to supervisor. You know what? Uh, hopefully the supervisor is still, well, he's still working, I understand. But can you come up with a situation that maybe you have faced that, that we were talking about? I think when uh -huh. you are a supervisor teacher, you uh -huh. have a lot of difficult situation with the personal. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, it's more, dif it's more difficult. difficult when uh -huh. you when you try with person that had a different age. Ah, okay. Because the, the, the emotional, the reaction, and the problem are difficult for every single person, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And you, for example, you know, you are not in the edge, in the same edge like them, mm -hmm. and you have, and you have to put in your shoes, mm -hmm. and you have to learn to analyze the different, the different situation, and maybe do a, an advice. Mm -hmm. a good advice for the, the for the personal exactly and that face to you right because imagine that you are a manager you're a jogger and <laughs> that you're an employee sometimes they're like oof right so may i ask you something jeremy have you faced a particular situation when you had to put in practice the emotional um control oh i think every single day every single day <laughs> I think because uh -huh. my my boss has an an special attitude, mm -hmm. and the personal from product plan, they always are angry because always want everything. Right now, mm -hmm. okay. and sometimes you are handled with the supplier for to get the the the, the dreams or the mm -hmm. compliment, mm -hmm. and you have to to speak with them and may that they, they have to know what is the situation for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you think, so you are 100% sure that emotional intelligence is a helpful skill. Yes, of course. It's the most important thing for a supervisor or for a manager. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But for the rest of the people as well, right? And not yes. only guys in the work environment. Thank you, Jarvin. Like Jarvin explains, but also in the in the daily basis, right, Fernando? In the daily basis. Yes. When you're dealing with a lot of kind of people, right? Very good. Excellent. Now, guys, I want you to do me a favor. I'm going to recap and go back to one of the dialogues that we have just practiced before that it also emphasized what we are talking about right now. And I just want to share right now with you. Uh -uh -uh -uh. And I want you to not also help me read it because, yes, we're going to do a recap, but at the same time, we're going to analyze that as an scenario, okay? So just allow me a couple of minutes more. Let me go back. This is something that we already have seen. I know that you will remember that. You'll see. Okay, there you go. Is it better? Yes, right? Remember Edward and Mike? Yeah? Okay. So I want, let me double check, volunteer. <laughs> Andresito, would you like to be Edward and um, Mr. William, would you like to be Mike? Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Andresito. Let me retrieve your file. This is your fifth month in the company, right? Yes, if you don't pay the training into a company. Well, it it seems your quality score this quarter is very low. Very low. Let's look at let's look at it carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. It was it my manager's fault. If he had been more helpful, I would have had a better score. Don't worry, Michael. 
I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. Your handle times are excellent. So we only need to figure how to help you, how to help you with quality. But sir, my team is also my helpful. If mm -hmm. you have listened to my question, I will have known how to answer the customer's issue. Remember, Mike, that our job requires constant preparation and a lot of reading. You would have gotten a higher score if you had been updated on recent procedures. Had you been reading the new manuals? Uh, uh, no, sir, I haven't. They are boring. Then let's finish checking your regulation and then I will get your, I will get you through with the training department so they can give Sorry, I can see. I can see. The they last can part. give you an interactive digital copy of the manual. Okay. Alrighty, there you go. Very good. Very good. Okay. And you're going to play it one more time because I want you to feel emotion. Okay. That's good. But you have read. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much for helping me read it. So now, guys, think about this scenario that we have just read and think about the definition of emotion and intelligence. So tell me, what is that scenario about? What is, what is happening here in the conversation? What's going on? Only one, I need only one volunteer, that's enough. <laughs> only one volunteer, what's going on? What happened? The quality score. The quality score of an employee, okay, okay. And an employee is talking with who? With a QA in, right? Uh huh. So, do you remember the phrases that the employee said every time that the agent uh, is asking him about the score or explaining the situation? Let me go back and share right now with you. You see? Let's look at it very carefully and find out your areas of opportunity. Is my manager's fault? Is my manager's fault? It's not my fault at all. If he had been more helpful, I would have a better score. Uh-huh. ¿Y qué más dice? But sir, my team is also helpful. If they had listened to my question, I would have known how to answer the question, the customer's issues. Uh-huh. ¿Qué está pasando con este employee right now? I think it's like similar situation of Freddy's example, right? Uh-huh. ¿Qué le está diciendo? Mire, yo tengo buena nota porque este es mi jefe y estos, y estos y compañeros míos. Qué increíble, no me ayudan. Qué barbaridad. No es mi culpa, ¿eh? Y es tú en la... Ya, es using emotions, like, ¿Verdad? To control others, right? Está usando emotional intelligence, but in a positive or a negative way. Negative way. In a negative way. Exactly. Y hoy, hoy ponte tú en el, en el caso del QA. ¿Cómo está manejando él la situación de emotional intelligence? Él, él tiene dos opciones. ¿Te acuerdas cuál es la definición de emotional intelligence? Yeah. ¿Cuál es la definición? The ability to manage. Ajá. Uh -huh. The ability to manage both your own emotions and understands the emotion of people around you, or around you. In this case, he needs to control his emotions and understands their emotion on the plea, right? Mm -hmm. Pero que otras opciones tiene? Bueno, tres. Control, ¿verdad? Control yourself. Puede regañarlo. O decirle, mira, no le eches la culpa a tu manager. No le eches la culpa a tu equipo. Vos tenés malas notas porque fue tu culpa, ahora gano, ¿les? ¿Vean? Yeah, it could be that. Yeah, you see? Or it could be the other way. Pobrecito, tenés razón. Mira, no es el primero que me dices que este manager es cosa seria. Right? ¿Sí? Y también, es cierto, ese es tu timbo. Yo no sé por qué te pusieron ese tu timbo. Eso tu timbo. Yeah, como cuesta con esa gente. Yo te entiendo, yo sé que vos estás haciendo el esfuerzo. ¿Sí? 
Ven, ven. ¿En cómo es la cosa? They have three possible situations. O put a nail roll, o put it against the manager and the, um, and, the, and the team, or support this agent, right, who got a bad score. Uh -huh. But let me ask you guys, how he put in practice the emotional intelligence in this scenario? Let me go back. Let me show you again the dialogue. And I want your opinion about that. I just want your opinion about how this QA agent put in practice in a good way that may, the intelligence managed or the emotional intelligence. How was helpful for this agent? Read it carefully. I have the dialogue once again for you. Read it carefully. Tell me how he used the emotional intelligence in a good way. In this case, it's going to be Edward, the QA agent. Read it carefully and then express your opinion about that. I guess Edward is not, uh, he's in the middle. He's uh -huh. telling the worry, Mike. I will be reviewing the evaluation with your manager and provide your feedback. And also will be verified with quality. Like he knows telling anything related to, yes, the manager has the faults or quality, mm -hmm. the problem. He's in the middle. Uh -huh. So but it's neutral, right? He should be. Uh -huh. So do you think that Edward is using the emotional intelligence in a good way or as a helpful skill? If you, it's like the best option. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you see, like, Fra like Fernando was saying, you need to like manage, right? Your emotions, especially with this. Very good. Very good, Joshi. Good job. Do you have any other opinion, guys, about this situation? Uh -huh. Somebody else? I want to listen to somebody else. Doris? Telmita? Madeline? Kenya? Why you are so quiet? Ooh. I think you need some time for break. Relax, right? Relax time. You're under too much pressure and everybody's like, yeah, teacher, I want to play, right? <laughs> you want to play? Let's do some, some relax, okay? I know that you have been working really hard. I know. Let's stretch out a little bit. Mm -mm. Okay. Do you want to play with Brock and Telephone? You like that? <sighs> All right. Who's sleeping right now? Come on, who's sleeping? I will send you a Starbucks uh, 18 wheeler right away. <laughs> All righty. Okay, so let's start to relax a little bit, okay? Okay, I know. I know you're like, <sighs> okay, let's play some broken telephone right now, but I'm going to use somebody else. I will use, okay, Freddie, you will be here. Jarvin, hopefully you can play it. I want you to be here as well. I, I cannot use everybody. I wish, but I cannot use, you know what? Yes, we can use everybody, but you need to be like, you see, faster, okay? Faster. Huh. Yeah, we have enough time. You have enough, we have enough time, right? Yeah. Okay, yes. Okay, so I'm going to start. L listen carefully who's going to come next. I'm going to start. Then I will send the information to Jessica. Jessica will send the information to Kenya. Kenya will send the information to Amelia. Amelia will send the information to Joshi. Joshi will send the information to Madeline. Madeline will send the information to Freddy's. Freddy's will send the information to Doris. Doris will send the information to William. Well, then we'll send the information to Telma. Telma will send the information to Fernando. Fernando will send the information to Andres. Andres will send the information to Josue. Josue will send the information to Glenda. And Glenda will send the information to Erwin. So Erwin will be the final agent 
who received the message. Today, uh, you know what, it's, it's, it's a little bit easy and at the same time, uh, we avoid broken telephone for a few people, but if we put it out more people, that is the challenge. There is the challenge because uh, it, I don't know where the broken telephone happens, okay? So I'm, and now I'm going to put it in the opposite weight. I'm using the first of time I used that clock side, and I'm going to go against it. So, okay, repeat it. Uh, I'm going to start, then I'm going to send the information to Jesse. Jesse will send the information to Kenya, right? Kenya will sell the information to Amelia, right? Amelia will send the information to Freddie. Freddie will send the information to Andres. Andres will send the information to, sorry, to Doris. To Doris, Doris. Yeah, Doris will send the information to William. William will send the information to Telma. Telma will send the information to Fernando. Fernando will send the information to Madeline. Madeline will send the information to Joshi. Joshi will send the information to Josue. Josue will send it to Andres. Andres to Glenda. And finally, Glenda will send it to Erwin. Erwin, you don't have to worry. You will be the last one to receive the message. All right. So that's good. Remember, guys, we need to put the Microsoft off, right? When we send in the message, it's going to be verbal message, no writing message. And then once we send it and the other people listen, we just like delete it. Okay. Okay. Ready? <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. I love it. All righty. So <laughs> Jess is like, no teacher so it's going to be jesse right let me check jesse if i have you here i'm freddy's yes i know you're freddy's <laughs> all righty there you go so let me see my, uh, my co-worker your co-worker okay cool let's see jesse 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 do me a favor which are the last four digits of your cell phone jesse jessica yes teacher uh, can you please let me know the last four digits of your cell phone? Uh, six three. No, the last four eight, digits. Eight nine six three. Eight nine six three. Okay, let's. Ah, yes, January, right? You're January. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Of course, Jessica January. Hi, teacher. You're blind. Yes, of course I know. I need some glasses. Okay, so I'm going to send it to you. Okay. Allow me one moment. I'm starting right now. Done. I already sent it, and it's a long message, guys. Did you listen, Jesse? I received teacher, but I, I, I try to, to understand. Okay, you already have it, so send it. Yeah, teacher, teacher. I have it. I already erased it, so send it what you got. You did already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sent it to Kenya, right? 
Yeah. Okay, cool. I send it. <laughs> That's all it takes. She did the rocket telephone. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Send it faster, guys. I'm going to send it. To Amelia, right? Okay. I'm so excited, guys, and I cannot hide it. I want to see if Mr. Erwin gets the, the correct message. <laughs> Don't. Er uh -huh. Erase it, Kenya. Okay, erase it. Receive it. Uh, I think you need to send it to Freddy, right? I say that. Yeah. Okay. Joshi, you're so nervous. You're sorry right now, right? <laughs> no, teacher. I have a headache, actually. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Have you already taken a pill? Mm, no, I don't. I don't, I don't no. use to take Raise pills. It. No, just is the, is the pain is it's terrible. Really but otherwise, I, oh my I God. prefer to drink any pill. My, what about uh, chamomile tea? No, I already uh, drank a tea. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully, you get much better. Thank you. Hmm. Send it, Amelia. Can you send it again? She's sending it right now. I'm sorry, but there's no audio. Teacher, I'm sorry, I get a problem with my phone. I guess the uh, Freddy can hear me. Because I get a problem with the, uh, I don't know, the audifono, and I forgot. Oh, you have a problem with your hair set. Can you try it one more time to send it to him? Or no? No, I need, I need the phone for my mom. Ah, OK, don't worry. OK, Jesse, do me a favor. Send a message to Freddy, please. To Freddy? Yeah. OK. Well, you remember, girl. Well, you remember. <laughs> OK, OK, OK. She just sent it to you, Freddy's, right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Erase it, Jesse, please. Did you receive it, Freddy's? Yeah, I already sent it. To William, right? No, to um, Doris. To Doris, okay. Okay, Doris. Listen, and then I think who's going, Doris, you need to send it to William, I think. Yeah. But hurry up, we have four minutes left. Come on, guys. <laughs> Did you receive it, Doris? Okay. Ah, oh, that's a little baby boy. Hi. We have a new state student. He's the youngest one in the class. <laughs> oh, he's so nice and he's lovely. Did you receive it, Doris? Yes? I sent a William. To William, okay. Uh -huh, William. Thank you, Doris. Listen and send it to Telmita and Telma needs to send it to Fernando. Hurry up, guys. Hurry up. Time is counting. Did you send it, William? I'm sending right now. Okay, cool. To Telmita, right? Okay. All right. And Telmita, once you receive it, listen and send it to Fernando. Almost there, Erwin. Almost there. All your horses. <laughs> Look at Thomas' face, like, what? Okay, tell me that just send what you can listen or what you know to Fernando. Okay, don't worry about that. Poor Erwin. One more minute, one minute left. Send it to Fernando, please tell me that as soon as possible. William sent you a message, right? William, you didn't send her a message. Yes, uh, but via Zoom. Via Zoom, no way, via WhatsApp. Teacher, but I can speak when you, I, I am using Zoom. Exactly, yeah, you have that. Don't worry, yeah. don't worry, that's okay. Uh, Fradis, do me a favor. Send a message to Fernando and then Fernando to Erwin. Don't worry, don't worry, William, that's okay. Okay. Don't worry, take your time. <laughs> I want to know what message Erwin got. I want to know that for sure. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. I have to send the message to Andres or Erwin? No, in this case, Erwin, because we already like uh, get out of time. Okay, I will look for Erwin in the chat. Erwin? Erwin. Uh -huh. Yes, Erwin, yes. Uh, are we, are we? But are Fernando, we turn off your microphone if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, 
turn off your microphone and you can hear the message. Yes. Okay. Let me hear. <laughs> Finish? Yes, I did. I sent, I sent the message. Okay, Erwin, what's the final message that you received? Hopefully nothing happens. Okay, teacher, I had a... a what's the message? I will do something easy, okay? Uh-huh. I want to share with you the uh, we will start on uh, vacation and the vacation will start on April 4th. Aha, so what is the message, Erwin? About the vacation. About the vacation or what? Yes, teacher, about the vacation that tomorrow we <laughs> end the class. Excellent teacher. I love you so much, teacher. It's fantastic. It's no magnific. way. <laughs> you wish, my man. You wish, but no way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Who did the broken telephone here? Mm. Okay. Excellent. I know. Oh, no. Fantastic. Fantastic. The, the, we will start uh, vacation. And the vacation will start on the Fort. No way. <laughs> hey, Jessica, what was the message? About the we will, uh, vacation. Aha, uh -huh, but vacation of who? No, you guys. In the future, in the future. Uh, no, you. I, I am the end of the, 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 the message. That teacher was going to go on vacation. Exactly. I told Jesse that I'm so happy because I was about to start my vacation. My vacation starts on April oh. the 4th. Goodness, it's my vacation. No, yours vacation. Mm. Ah, come on. Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Yeah, very vacation. good, guys. I know. I know. But can you imagine waiting almost five years for a vacation? I deserve it. Jesus Christ. Yes, I deserve it. Yes. So that's why I'm so excited. <laughs> See you in Cancun. What? In your own Cancun teacher. On Cancun, yeah, like the background that you have. Come on, yeah, woohoo, Woo yeah. Oh, real de Janeiro. I'm just kidding. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, guys, now I want to be with Joshi in the one on one session so everybody can go. Bye, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, uh, and kisses. Have a lovely night. I just need to speak with Joshi right now. Okay, thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night, good night. Bye, Freddy. <laughs> okay. You're like, we're like, get out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, Joshi, how's it going? Hi, teacher. Hey, yeah. I like this. Okay. Yeah. I'm so happy to see you every single class. Yeah, even though you oh, today thanks. you don't feel like good right now, but you're doing your effort, which is really good. I'm so happy about it. Yes, I need it. I cannot miss the classes. And yeah. I like the class, believe me. Oh, wow. thank really, you so really much. Nice. Yes, you are very energetic. You are very excited. And you transmit that to us. So it's yes, nice. <laughs> thank you. And I'm also it's cuckoo today, right? Teacher, <laughs> yes, it's the way that a teacher must be. Oh, thank you so much. I'm trying to do my best. And I'm glad that you enjoyed the class. Tell me, talking about the class, eh, do you think the topics that we have seen so far are useful? Do you understand all of them? Do you need to reinforce a little bit about something? I guess that the topics are really good. And maybe we don't have enough time to, uh, to practice mm -hmm. it 
to understand better, but I'm really good. And I guess that you, you do your best to explain in a really good way, in a way that we can understand, understand better. I guess that is fine. Oh, that's nice. And uh, this is really nice to hear. Tell me something. Do you think that we, you, we need to implement more exercises, about more writing exercises? What type of activity do you think that you, you need the most? Or which uh, well, skill you would like to reinforce? Yes, personally, I guess that uh, I need to improve my speaking because um, You're doing good. it was the reason that I am here because I want to uh, improve my pronunciation. But like me, I try to do my best. And I guess that my problem is the ending sounds. I don't know if you already confirmed that, that the ending sound is my big issue. And believe me, I have been trying uh, to hear people all that was watching CDs and repeat it, repeat it again, and I try, but I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. like, it's part it. of the process, it's part of the process. Yeah, because you know what, there's some uh, sounds ending in English that we do not have in the Spanish. So it sometimes you really get used to it. Yeah, and, and yeah, exactly, the endings, uh, the makes, especially the part, right? But you're doing good. You're doing a good, oh, good effort, you. yes. I, and you know what, being in a call center, I, I always think that um, it's a really nice environment to develop the listening skill and the speaking skill. You're doing good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. For the moment, I am not in a language account. I am in a bilingual, but I, uh, yes. But I've talked to uh, other uh, people from the United States. For example, mm. if I receive a call in English, I, I you take oh, it. I take it. Yeah, yes, good job. Go it. for it. And Excellent. I don't know, but they understand. And That's I good. Understand maybe there are some common issues that I didn't get. It. For example, uh -huh. the last time I received a call that a lady told me I couldn't go to the hotel because I got bored, something like that. I guess bored is the explotar in Spanish. Mm -hmm. And I'm and I ask, what do you mean? I got a baby. Oh, uh, that I understand. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, okay. <laughs> but Warno was in labor. Yes, but she mentioned uh -huh. I got bored, something like that. Uh -huh. like, <laughs> and what do you mean? What do you mean about that? <laughs> like, what? Like, yes, and she mentioned I got, I got my baby that day. So <gasps> that, that, that I, I understand. And I used to listen to some words that are common for me. And then I understand. And I talked to, for example, people from uh, hotels. Uh, the front desk, and I do it in English because we have the option in the other language. But I try in English because it is the reason why I'm here. Yeah, congratulations! Congratulations because you're not afraid. You said, I'm going to go, we'll, we'll try. Yeah, very good. That's the attitude, girl. That's the attitude. Don't worry if you make a mistake, you're just trying to do. Uh, try to communicate so that everybody can understand you. You're, you're using your, all your skills and your vocabulary, which is really good. Really, really good. I'm so proud of you. Very good job. Yeah. If yeah, you keep on doing that, me. you will be in a, in a language account. Yeah. Yeah. I want um, to move it, but like me. I want to move it. And I guess that if I do it, I, if I got the opportunity, maybe I will be scared for some, uh, for some days, but then I will follow the process. It's, like yeah. It's part of the I process, will. right? Because of the first time, of course, you are like, facing a different situation, different tools, different way to procedures, and it's part of the learning process. But if you put your extra mile and your effort and you said, okay, I'm here and you have a good attitude and willing to learn, you will do it, definitely. And you're showing that. I'm so happy for you. Definitely, I will, oh, I'm you. so happy. I will send you some tips, okay? So you can improve yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm so happy that you took that an extra time to be one-on-one -on -one session. I really appreciate that, even though you don't feel good right now. But hopefully you will improve much better. Maybe you you need like some rest, right? Maybe it's because you're tired. That could yeah. be. And if you're it's angry worse. because if, if you <laughs> yeah, exactly. have you have your dinner already? Yes, I already had dinner. Ah, okay. Well, I guess that is part of the stress. <laughs> yes, that so, might be. Yes. So I will leave you, okay? I will see you tomorrow, okay? Hugs and kisses, and have a lovely night. Okay, good night. Thank you, sir. good night. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye okay. Joshi.